Hey there everybody and welcome back to Black Arrow Gaming. I'm Bob, back for another episode of Age of Wonders 3. In the last episode, we just kind of secured our uh, the area around the enemy capitals we took uh, a few episodes ago. Mostly just trying to hunt down those uh, pesky leaders that are just hiding in the shadows somewhere uh, so I can wrap this game up. So hopefully they'll show up uh, sometime soon. In the meantime, I'm going to run around and break some stuff. So this army here, has access to haste berries, which is always nice. Um, I'm going to try to make the most use of that that I can. Uh, the, my plan is to engage each of these groups on separate terms using my warlord's army, I think. Um, so I'm going to go like this and double check to make sure that I don't see Jasmine anywhere. Okay, no, not yet. Um, so I'm gonna run in with her, and this is, should be a pretty easy victory. Um, we'll see what kind of spells they throw at me. Skin of oil, okay. That's not gonna matter if I stun all your units. They are doing a great job resisting though. Okay, well, in that case, I'm just going to go run out there and blow you up, I think. Unless... Let's see, I want to try this. Okay, can't get any stuns to land, apparently. There's one, alright. Probably fire broadside. No, it's gonna ram. Okay. That's the one thing that I did want it to do. And I can just flip over here and heal. Now, is anyone in this group not gold rank? I think these guys are all like champions. Yeah. Easy, easy, easy. All right. Then they can go back, get the haste berries, and go down here and take out this little group. a stun on this knight? Yeah, I did. Okay. The juggernaut, I have not yet. Okay. There's one. She keeps trying to go for skin of oil on my hero, but that's not gonna work. Okay, there's one more small group down. Oh, and they got, there's the Necromancer's Knight out of the deal. Probably didn't need to manual combat this one, but maybe the Necromancer will waste time with spells. Nope. Good try though. <laughs> that may have been one of the shortest battles I've ever done. Okay. And then at this point, I think, flip back to this city and hold it. I'm going to have the sorcerer come down here. Now that these, these boats are in position, they can watch this whole uh, area here. I think that spot right there is perfect. Um, they can keep an eye out for anything coming towards the water. And I don't think anything would dare cross with a fleet just waiting in the river for them. So yeah, it's nice to see these guys actually uh, having a useful purpose. I'm just gonna click the uh, check button for them every turn 
So I, it, the game brings me back to this area to look around. Um, I can get the Storm Sisters right in there, or I could have them go on their own little adventure and try to fight that stuff themselves. I think since I don't know what's down here, I will play it safe and have them uh, come probably here. And we'll see what those guys decide to do. Uh, they can, the Storm Sisters can go there. Actually, they can go there. And this guy can continue on his weird little digging trip. And I'll probably just put a tower right there. Whoops. That's not what I wanted. Alright, some more dwarves on the way. I think uh, that cave entrance right there is probably worth popping up next because the Necromancer, it looks like they've got quite a few cities over there. If I can get kind of a secondary army to pop up out of that cave entrance, um, they could probably do a lot of damage very quickly. Uh, let's get these guys back with their main group. And the troll can come too. So I'm going to probably need to leave some units down here watching this city while the others go up. In fact, the units that are down here should probably press on to the next city, actually. Um, can I reach? No, not quite. Alright, I'm going to put these guys on the cave entrance on this turn. And just leave these guys nearby. <clears throat> And, oh look, more stuff. Okay, we can auto this. Easy. And what do we have here? A whole bunch, there she is, there's Jasmine. All right, I found her. Um, and my leader's army is not far away at all. And they're on the water, so I can use that to my advantage. They're relatively safe. Even so, I don't think she's got enough to really stop me here. So she's just down that cave. All right. Good to know. So we've at least found one of them. Their days are numbered. Um, I'm going to just... I need to set a spawn point for this city. Start rallying to there, I guess. And you go there. Okay, confirm army movement. Let's check the other domain invasion notifications. I think that's it. So I'm going to throw down a quick save, and in this case, I want to, well, I'll, uh, Marisoth goes first, so we'll keep an eye out for her, but then after that, um, I'm going to switch to, to watch Jasmine, make sure that I know where she goes. So, I think we're ready in the turn. So many units on the move. Who has movement left? Oh, that would be you. Okay. Yes. Get down here. We could use those heals. Alright. We're now actually at the end of the turn. Um, and I'm going to keep an eye out down here for any movement from the Necromancer. All right, we're on to Jasmine's turn. Let's see what she does. Looks like they're going to pile up on that city. I don't think that's going to end well for them. I think she dies on this turn. I'm not taking my eyes off her until her turn is over, okay? 
All right, so now it's just a matter of finishing her off. I think uh, let's not waste any time with this. Let's just let's just do it. All right. So, a um, lot of Earth Elementals, couple Storm Sisters for stuns. I think it looks pretty good. Um, I'm going to be using a lot of my leader's spells, but she probably will be too. So this should be an interesting fight. Let's attack from right here. Just in case for some reason I need to retreat, I'm over the water. Mersoth surrenders to me. No, I do not accept surrender in this game. That's just a self-imposed rule for all my series, by the way, for anyone wondering. I never accept the enemy surrender. I always hunt them down. Um, all right, well, let's uh, party. Probable defeat, but that is not correct, in my opinion. I think we've got this. Those Earth Elementals are too dang tanky for her to deal with. All right, now I am going to counter Mass Curse with Mass Bless. But I also need to remember that my hero is in this battle, my leader, so I want to move him as much as he can first, and then we're up a little bit first. <coughs> I still want those Earth Elementals out front, and then I can cast Mass Bless to just counter the effect of what they just did. I need to be careful with the Storm Sisters. They're the glassy ones here. If I could get them up over the wall, that would be nice. So I'm going to send one on a flanking route out in that direction. Um, and the other can kind of just go here for now, I think. There's her Arachnid Horde. So I'll just counter that with Beast Horde. Yes, shoot the Earth Elementals. Do it. I'll just brush it off. They can take anything, anything, so we'll just keep moving them straight forward. I see no reason to do anything else. Maybe I can stun this guy, that would be nice. There we go, he's basically dead now. Um, and then I can move him up a bit more and toss down Beast Horde. That should get them to freak out about all the units showing up behind them. We're getting a lot of combat spells going here. Okay. I've got more animals than you. Oh, they can disjunct it if they want, but I'm just going to recast it. This one's over. This is over. She's doomed. Earth elementals are up over the walls now. It is only a matter of time. And I have still have 285 casting points left. I could do this all day. You just keep on disjuncting. Here comes Jasmine. Have to fight the animals. She must be out of casting points. Unfortunate for her. 
All right, go get her. Okay, that feathered serpent exploded. Too bad the uh, summoned animals from Beast Horde don't get to float over the walls. That would make things easier. I think she may have just summoned that cannon there. Maybe not, because it just had to reload. Stop the Earth Elementals. Eh, hit the wall. You have nothing better to do. She is not going to win a melee fight with my leader, that's for dang sure. Um, my leader's going to get that kill. He's got this. Not before I throw funky poo at her though. Okay. Everyone else is done. It's pretty much just that juggernaut back there as well as their arachnid horde leftovers. Oh, there she goes. <laughs> and she had explosive death as well. <laughs> but now that she's dead, shouldn't it be over? She's gone, right? And I control her capital. Did she move her capital? Did she have time to? I thought this would be finished when I once I killed her. Uh, that could be a problem. You, go deal with that cannon. I was under the impression this battle would die the moment, she, or it would be over the moment she died. Uh, I don't need to worry about those guys way out on the edges. Should just be that cannon, I think. Nope, they still got another spider hanging around here somewhere, probably. Oh, there it is.
Well, go deal with it. I think these boars can finish it off. Oh, that was loud. Okay. So, Jasmine has not been defeated. She moved her capital. Okay. Well, where'd she move it to? I've explored the... Actually, this shouldn't be hard. I've explored the whole... Okay, she moved it here. Ah, well, I'll just make a beeline towards that. But no big deal. We know where it is, so it's only a matter of time. I just want to make sure I move everyone together-ish. Uh, we can make it a little further than the rest. I think what I'll do is move these armies kind of together. I know this isn't a perfect triangle, but I want these guys out ahead, moving as fast as possible. The Storm Sisters, they, they can keep up. They'll be good. Uh, the Sorcerer's Army is probably going to be fine on their own because they've got Chaos Rift, and without her in the battle to cast other spells or disjunct it, which she's been remarkably successful at disjuncting my magic. Um, I shouldn't have to worry about that. Now, I did just leave that city wide open for them to take. I probably should have left the sorcerer's armor on that her army on that city. That was uh, that was a slight mistake on my part there. Um, but they can go back and get it back on the next turn. No big deal. And that city is now on infinite merchandise. It's always nice when I can hit that point and don't have to think about it anymore. Same with this one. So many gold events. I'm at over 10,000 gold and making 2,000 per turn. Uh, no. Oh, tell me more about it and then I decline. Okay. And merch forever here now. Klesk has been purged. Okay, we'll, uh... Let's see, that one... That one is not too far from a grand palace. All right, summon archangels ready to cast. We still got to track down that necromancer who they moved their capital to. They're down here now. All right. Well, I guess that's where we're going, then. I'll send the big army down that way, and the others can go up. Alright, uh, I want the Archangel here. We're, we're going to use that mermaid thing to our advantage. Should be able to auto clear this. Okay. Get all my movement back. Oh, wait, hang on. That was an oyster reef, not the mer. <laughs> Dang it. Alright, well, whatever. Doesn't really matter. Um, I'm going to move them up, but I'm not going to quite get them to where the enemy can reach me on this turn. Um, I'll have them go up over the mountains, I think, because. I still want to get another Archangel in there with him. I 
Night of the Living Dead. All unit units gain the raised corpse ability. Oof. That could be messy. Okay. What about you guys? Yeah, they could do the hard shrewd stuff. Boats don't see anything trying to cross. Eagle uh, is... Eagle could move forward, I think. Yeah, they can't reach me here. Although I'm gonna move here anyway. Because I think that's... Oh, that is a mountain tile. Alright. Another hero hanging out back there. Uh, let's see. I need to go up and then over one. And then I'll just stick a watchtower right here. And as for the rest of these guys... Well, let's see. We could move... Them down there, there is a hospital that could help them heal a little faster. Uh, as for this group, I think um, probably stick you on there, drop the troll, and stick you guys there. Keep a few units nearby. Oh, hey, that's right. I've got this. Uh, now, now I can't put him with the group, but Feathered Serpent can help with healing. Anyway, we'll leave them there to block that cave entrance route off. Really kind of trying to speed run this game at this point. Um, those guys are good. I'll just park them there. We're at confirm army movement phase again, which means I threw it on a quick save. And we let this all happen. Uh, there, she's fine where she is. Okay, now uh, we know exactly where the Dreadnought is, or where their capital is, and we know how much time we have to get there. So um, they're basically dead unless they have a ton of defenders in that city. Uh, it's the Necromancer that's still hiding out somewhere. Not to mention they also have moved their capital, so I have to deal with that. All right, so let's do one more quick save and move on to the next turn. We'll see if we can spot the enemy Necro wherever Mersoth is hiding. This does explain, because they moved their capitals, it does explain why they're not trying to get their old ones back. A lot of times the AI will come charging in and try to retake their old capital, but I guess they were maybe so far away that they had time to move it before they could do that. Okay, then we're on to Jasmine doesn't really matter a whole lot. Oh, they're actually going more east. They're going to take the more heavily fortified city instead of the completely vulnerable one. They may be trying to get away from the Sorcerer's Army, honestly, which is going to go back and help fight. Uh, this group, I would have stay on the walls, I think. Yeah, I'll have them stay up on the walls of that city, and then I'll move the Sorcerer's Army here to just park there, and these guys can move forward. I could open up the Box of Chaos just for fun, but that would probably cause more problems than it would solve. Okay, this could be interesting. Now I'm beginning to wish the Sorcerer was over here. That's pretty heavily defended. I mean, that's a lot of cannons. I think with spell assistance from my leader, I'll be fine, though. Uh, she has no spell casting ability, so... As long as I can get there before she comes back, uh, I'll, I'll be all right. All right, hello. We're here to borrow that city. Okay, Night of the Living Dead has two rounds left. 
I'm going to go ahead and summon another Archangel with this group. But I may not actually go charging in quite yet. Not while Night of the Living Dead is active. I'll try to get more Archangels, I think. Am I still technically good? I'm slightly good. As long as I stay slightly good, the Archangels will be cool with me. Alright, um, back down to the charge at the Necromancer's new capital. And we'll probably just break this city on our way by. Yeah, that is a very poorly defended city. Should drop pretty easily. Okay, I want to get the Horned Gods back with my leader, with the Dreadnought, for that fire protection, as well as the troll. So I need to make three spaces. Two, three. Firstborn are more or less on their own. Now, who has the most movement? I messed that up considerably. Okay, uh... Whatever. Fire damage doesn't really matter that much for this one, so... We'll just do this and then I'll sort it out after the battle. I don't want to waste unit movement right now. leave that troll kind of out of range because there is one unit up there that can shoot fire although he's got regrowth he'd be all right to take a few hits yeah it's always I there's always one guy way off in like a corner that I forget about gonna leave him sitting right there. Can I get a, a lightning bolt off on them? Oh, hey, I actually did stun one. Okay, that's everybody. No, oh, he just had, uh, he just had the bone collector eat one of his own units to heal a little bit. I don't think that was wise. Anyone taken even a little damage here? Guy down south has. Okay, well, go heal him, I guess, because this is basically over. <laughs>
and he's not going anywhere now. I would like to get that kill on the on my uh, leader hero there. Okay, there we go. I may yet have time to do the destabilized mana core strat. If I can manage to squeeze one more level out of... Let's see, I only need like 57 XP, so maybe. Alright, now that that's done, um, let's... Hmm, okay, there's a couple things I could do here. Because there is haste berries right there. Who is my best firstborn? Elite rank. Is there anyone that's a champion? Nope. Okay, we'll take you. Or anyone who's Yeah, we'll take we'll take this one. Okay. Get the haste berries. And then they can kinda go out ahead. Maybe getting a little carried away here, but Go ahead and purge that to... Well, we've already maxed out the dwarf race governance, but... I mean, on the other hand, dwarves are good underground, so I think I'll just... And they're closest, so I'll just do that. I can do that in one turn. Um, I'm going to move them as far as they can go. So that they have the option of getting into Redfuss on the next turn. Alright, Feathered Serpent is done. Uh, let's see. Production for Zorku. We'll be the Megalith there. Domain Invasion here. That's just leftover Dreadnought stuff that's easy to deal with. In fact, I think I can auto this one. Well, it's a couple Juggernauts. I'll go ahead and manual this one. It should be fine, but it's one of those were better safe than sorry kind of things. All done. <laughs> Do they have another city down here, or is it just kind of a random... I mean, there's a couple way out there, but... I don't know if I should even worry at all about that cave entrance up there, or what. I, I, they have that whole other city of Allerton that I just kind of blew past. Well, no, it doesn't matter at all. It doesn't matter at all because on the next turn, they die. So I need to just... My leader needs to switch to hunt down the uh, necromancer mode. Um, so I think I need to have him maybe go on a weird alternate path. I think what I'll have him do is go way around and get like behind just in case she's back here somewhere, uh, and just kind of explore a little bit. There's nothing else really to do. I mean, other than pick up a cool new secret spell, just for fun. There's literal, there's practically no reasonable reason to do this, but other than that, it would just be fun. And you know what? That's good enough for me. All right, well, let's get those earth elementals out there and see if I can maybe petrify somebody.
Oh, she is not her moving anymore. And where's the other one? Where is the other one, actually? Oh, it's right there. Okay. Aha! I landed a lucky 10% stun. Let's see, does my leader have any range attack that's like a... Elemental, something that would be good against these guys. Something that's not shock damage. Actually, the best option might be this. Yeah, that works. They just could dispel it, though. Nope, they chose to dispel stun on the uh, on their friend. things do I get? Maybe a true resurrect? Summon spirit elemental and a gold blade of the master assassin. That's interesting. But I think I like life drain better. At least on him. Could anyone else use that weapon? I like her axe. And I actually like her weapon for dealing with dreadnought stuff. He's got lifesteal. Maybe, maybe her, I guess. I don't know if I've ever seen this item before in all the years I've played this game. I don't know if I've ever come across that specific one. Anyway, I got summoned spirit elemental and released a bunch of nasty undead into the wild. So now I have to clean those up. Um. I think I'm going to auto this, because those Storm Sisters have Resurgence. This should be okay, I think. I hope. Yeah, okay, we're good. Alright, then just a couple leftovers up there. I'm going to pretty much ignore them. I don't need to worry about Dreadnought units anymore. Other than the ones that are in their capital. have to reshuffle all my building constructions to make sure that I'm still pushing towards grand palaces whenever I can. And you guys still can stay doing exactly what you've been doing. Um, eagles are good where they are still. Kind of like that spot. And then we're back here. Uh, I'm just, like I said, I'm going to leave them there for this turn. Um, so I can continue to summon Archangels. Uh, it, it would be much better to go after them with a stack of full Archangels, I think. Alright. I'm going to move these guys down. And I keep forgetting that I need to get that healer in there with them. Come back. I'll put the trolls in there. Uh, I'll put one healer. Well, actually, the trolls don't need the healer. The other stack does. Okay, I think... I just need to give him a rally point down here or something. Oh, 
Okay, um, and then I'm just gonna have the that guy camp out there, I suppose. Mostly because I'm too lazy to continue moving him around and I want to hurry this up. Okay, we'll have them park it there. Confirm army movement. Alright, let's go ahead and let them all run through their motions. And I know she picked up paste berries, so she's going to be able to move a little further. All right. On to the next turn. Still keeping an eye out for Mersoth, wherever she may be. You know, this actually would be an easier battle because it's all undead, or they're all low morale. Oh, some, she did try to disjunct Wild Hunt. So I'll have to reinforce that. So I am rely on relying on that quite a bit. But I'm gonna need a lot of mana this turn because I wanted to summon another Archangel. I'm gonna have to siege the enemy capital. a lot going on right now. Okay, um, that city is done. It can be merchandise forever. I think this city can too. Yeah. Merchandise forever. Storm Sister is done. Praise the Leader Festival is good. And here we can make a hinge. One turn left on Night of the Living Dead, so I'll just wait until that's gone before I do anything with my uh, second druid's army. Um, she knocked that down to 100. Dang. Okay, I will reinforce that as much as I can. Hey. Okay. Close. I guess the X button doesn't work there. I will reinforce that as much as I can after doing this battle. Holy smokes. They are really <laughs> trying to get in here to hold this. Uh, this is going to be an interesting one, but uh, I think I've got this, because just simply because she cannot cast spells. So I can do all the mass curses, and I can still do mass blesses, and I can summon a beast horde, and I can do basically whatever I want, and she can't do a thing about it. Probable defeat. Ha. You underestimate my tier twos. Just a frick ton of Storm Sisters. <laughs> Who would win an army of massive tanks and machines with huge amounts of firepower? Or a bunch of ladies with, with, a, with a lightning staffs? My money's on the lightning staff, ladies. Alright, let's uh, go ahead and get this party started. I think Beast Horde is the best to start off with uh, while I'm closing distance because it will distract them. And then I can uh, throw Mass Curse up to make me them more susceptible to my Storm Sisters. So let's do Beast Horde first. Hopefully it puts one or two behind their walls. It did. Alright, that should distract them. Um, the Storm Sisters are going to basically just move forward in as straight of a line as possible because it should make it hard for their cannons to hit them. It's going to be difficult to avoid uh, hits from multi-hits multi from the uh, uh, Juggernauts, but at, at least if we can avoid it from the cannons, that's fine. Plus, it's also worth remembering these Storm Sisters are all entirely expendable, so... I don't have to be worried about losing them. They will just come back. And I'll leave them on defense for this combat round. Okay, and uh, we'll see what comes next. Hopefully they can handle this initial wave of firepower. Okay, good 
deal, yeah, yes, do that. Deal with the spiders that are behind you. That's exactly what I want. Still somehow manage to always get those multi-hits. Okay, so they did not manage to kill a Stingle Storm Sister there. I'm going to go ahead and give her Iron Heart for a little extra defense. And now we Mass Curse. And then I can start targeting those pesky machines. That cannon is ready to fire, so I'm going to want to shut him down. That one is also ready to fire, so if I can, I want to shut him down too. Did I get the stun? I don't think I got it on that one. No, I just immolated him. Maybe I can... Maybe I can do this. Or just break it. That works too. He just reloaded, so I'm going to want to stun him. Okay, that landed. And there's plenty of Storm Sisters down here, so... They can basically shoot at whatever they want. Oh, they're just decimating everything they look at, basically. Alright, now how about any of the animals that are behind their lines? Can any of them move, or did they kill? No, they must have killed all of them. Alright, well, more will show up. Um, okay, on to the next turn. Flame tank, we will have to deal with that. Again, all their units distracted by the units behind the walls. I can go ahead and patch her up a bit more. Uh, that cannon over there still needs to be stun locked. I think I got it that time, yeah. Okay. As does that cannon. I can reach it. And then we gotta get the flame tank before it can multi-hit stuff. Okay, it's locked down. May as well get the treb while I'm at it. And there's plenty of things I have that can hit that cannon. I think I can kill it with her on this turn. Yeah. So he can keep the knight. Is he stunned? He is stunned, okay. So let's have you then focus on the cannon. And you can focus on the knight. Oh man, that... Well, this many gold rank storm sisters paired with mass curse is just not even fair. <laughs> That's such a good combination. I don't think they're going to kill any of my storm sisters in this fight. Alright, you can just keep working on that guy. He's down. And you on the flame tank. There it goes. Spider can get up on the wall. And I'm gonna still need a little more healing, I think. Um, 
That Storm Sister right there could maybe use a little help. He is still stunned. I don't think I stunned him. Nope. I'm gonna try to get the tank instead, though. There we go. Alright, why don't you fly on over and Heal up some Storm Sisters. And if I have healing available, no, I don't quite yet. I'm gonna try to drag this out for one more combat round. If an 84% chance could land, that is. up over the wall and uh, really get everyone up over the wall so they stop taking damage except for the animals I don't really care like the good druid that I am not caring about my animals and then heal probably this storm sister I think she's the most beat up okay now you guys can finish them off I know I have one Storm Sister that is silver rank, or at least was. She probably leveled up during the course of this battle. Yeah. Okay. Okay, where's their last unit? Oh, it's that knight right there. Okay, that should do it for Jasmine. Watch all those armies disappear. Goodbye. You're done. Okay, Jasmine the Lionheart has lost. Good. All right. There are probably some neat items in here. There's that weakening convert staff. I guess I'll take that. Most of this probably won't be useful, but I'll just sell it off. Every form of concealment imaginable. Don't really need it. Shadow Step could be fun. I'll hang on to that. And, uh... Don't really need the spear. Don't need that dragon. Or wyvern. Don't really need the high morale book. Shoes that get floating are basically useless to me. And... This gives true sight and vision range that maybe come in handy at some point. The extra vision range could flip it on and off if I need to. Okay. I'll just absorb that. And uh, at this point, it's all about tracking down that necromancer. Which I don't know where all their stuff is exactly. Um, I do know that uh, with these armies basically now in a state of just randomly wandering, I don't need to worry about holding my cities and I can go freely take this one. I'll just throw Chaos Rift down and walk in there, basically. And... It's just me and the Necro. Alright. I'm going to... Let's see. I'll leave a couple archers nearby. I don't see a reason to completely throw them away, but... Um, I am going to summon more Archangels on that stack, and queue up another. Now he's on 
Okay. Release his vassal. I don't really need to release that. No, nope, I can just keep this. Oh, this is the one I just took from the Necro. Okay, I was confused as to which city I was looking at for a minute there. Can you move yet? Okay, now hopefully, if I'm really lucky, the Necromancer is going to be sitting in this city. Um, which would be just wonderful. But I'm a little worried that they won't be, and I'm going to have to hunt them down. And they're not. Okay. So they're still out there somewhere. So I just have to keep clobbering their cities until they surrender. Well, since I'm not really in a huge hurry, I'll wait and bring the uh, backup army down. And hopefully she shows up somewhere soon. Where else could she be? There's not really any other cities down here except for a few on the very edge, which I think are unlikely. I think it's more likely that she's somewhere in this center area here. Well, that, that's, that would, that's what I would put my money on, but... Um, so that's probably where I should be sending these armies, is to double back and just come in here and start clobbering these cities. Uh, does that one have... No, there's no way across the water there, so... I'll... Well, I can just float over it anyway, so it doesn't matter. Oh, right, right. Um, hang on. Abort that. I need to reinforce my spell. Here's the wild hunt. Reinforce. Yeah, I need to give that as much reinforcement as I can. Keep that active. Okay, so I'll just send the Warlord's army down this way. We'll take that city and just kind of hit the Necromancer from every conceivable angle. The uh, only army that's not going to go to the center, I think, is going to be my King's army. I will have them go back to these weird cities that are way in the back, just in case she's hiding back there somewhere. Because... Um, him going up to the overworld right now, the amount of firepower, it's not going to make that much of a difference considering the amount of firepower I have up there. Um, I think these boats can pretty safely just go on uh, full defense mode. I'll probably park them right there and don't need to think about them anymore. Okay, uh, and then I'm going to, I do have that Eagle Scout. Okay, uh, let's grab that tower. Oh, wait. Hang on. I don't own that city, so they may roll out and smash that eagle. That would be an inglorious end to his relatively long life. Um, let's... You know what? Why don't I just pop up and see if I spot anything? No, there's plenty of cities around here to check out, though. As we pile on more firstborns onto this spot, once I get a big enough army, I'll... I'll pop them all up at the same time. And these guys, I think, can go with them. Uh, although this time I'm going to actually remember to put the healer on the stack that needs healing. But my uh, Dreadnought army is, is doing just fine on their own, so... In fact, I'm hoping they can get that destabilized mana core trick going on the next turn or two. And actually, these guys don't have any reason to sit here anymore, so I can I can move in on the Necro's territory from this angle too. Yep, I think it's time to invade. And uh, this random guy, I'm just going to tell him to go down here until given for further orders. Okay. So we have to wait a little bit longer. 
I'm hoping maybe if I just sit here threatening the city, she'll show up with armies to reinforce. And then I could just throw everything at her all at once. Okay, confirm army movement. Uh, I want to... Well, actually, I don't need to be casting a spell right now. I, I mean, I can. I, I, I may as well get it channeled. But I most likely won't be summoning that Archangel until I get uh, Wild Hunt fully uh, recast or reinforced. Um, these guys I'm just going to leave as a vassal. Maybe they'll give me nice things. Okay. Can go here. I got Grand Great Temple going. I do want to get a hospital queued. And then I can confirm army movement. Alright, who's left? Another Feathered Serpent. And another one of those guys. Okay, Necromancer, show your face. Let's uh, let's get this over with. This may end up being a slightly longer episode. I really think she'll show up soon. Uh, yeah, that actually doesn't surprise me, but it... I might have to do that manually, because I could see the computer being really dumb with that flame tank. Really, all I need to do is fall back, use a thunderstorm, and send a flame tank, and, or send the uh, earth elemental and snake forward. It's not really anything else I need to do. I guess I could buff the snake with the shaman. These guys tend to just get murdered, so I'm going to leave them kind of in the back. And that's that. Probably move the shamans away. Well, they can heal themselves. Well, that'll make this next step a little easier. basically solo this. In fact, the same basic plan I hear, I think. Um, you guys buff the snakes, and snake and earth elemental just go in, and then I rely on chaos rift to do everything else. Yeah, snake might need some heals. Now they'll just get absolutely wrecked by lightning bolts, not to mention there's a stake in the middle of all of them. They'll probably use broadside, but that's okay. Snake's on defense, it'll be alright. And since it's in a position where it kind of has to use broadside or move up the griffin riders, Oh, nope, just 
rams all around. Not wise, considering the snake has effectively has static shield. So it is worth remembering that occurred on their turn, so it will wear off on their turn. Now my sorcerer can still stun stuff, so let's see if I can... Get that one. Nope. Alright, that's fine. I'm just going to leave that snake on defense. Nope, just rams all around. Okay, that's one more city I can just absorb. And I guess I could go get Atlanteus, because why not? Actually, no, I, there's no point. It would be a waste of time. I want to finish this. I need to find that Necromancer. Okay, we have to reinforce uh, my wild magic spell first so let's go into overview panel find wild hunt reinforce reinforce there we go leaving me with 20 mana so we'll get more archangels on the next turn i'm also gonna bring up more of the hunters Because I think a lot of them have Monster Slayer. Uh, no, I'm going to leave all these guys as vassals. So they can just sit there and contribute gifts on occasion. Um, and that's going to be good for that city got still working on the megalith there oh yeah i kind of made the humans mad i keep cat summoning lightning storms of death above their cities <laughs> but i also keep absorbing their cities so i think it's balancing out apparently like all is forgiven for summoning a lightning storm over someone's city if you take over and control the city afterwards without kicking all the people out. They feel like, oh, that's not such a bad deal after all. 834, we can hurry production on that Grand Palace there. We're going to be pretty closing in here on um, 400 casting points, which is really more than I was expecting to get in this series. And there's another one that can stay a vassal. Okay. Danalon is done, I think, with everything. Where's this one at? That's okay, that's that one there. I guess it could it could take the archdruid structures too. Uh, that one I think was selling. Actually, um, it wasn't. It was a different city. Can just sell these off. Alright, now I just need to go down the river here and uh, come up behind from a different angle. Make sure that everyone can get close enough. Okay. Unfortunately, she's not there either. But I'll find her. Maul Baloth. I'm kind of closing in from several different angles here. So now here's a question. Is there a cave entrance near the south somewhere? I see one here. But I would prefer one more like that. 
where I could come from literally all angles. Now, where does this connect to? Pretty close to where those armies are. Okay, good. That's what I was hoping for. There's a Dread Reaper down here. Okay. Um, well, I'm not scared. Let's go kick some butt. Oh, wait. Hang on. I can't cast any of my spells right now. I might want to hold off on that fight until the next turn. Alright, well, I don't think I need to wait for the Archangel here. I think I can move in on her. Um... I might actually end up summoning that Archangel underground with all my other, uh, with my Dreadnought's army. These guys, I think, are more than ready to take this city on, so let's move everyone up. These are a lot of kind of, like, newbie Storm Sisters, but that's okay. They gotta rank up somehow. Toss these archers into the mix. A couple of them. And move these guys forward. Okay, everyone. Oh, uh, let's party. I do not have my leader's spells to help me out on this one, so I am going to have to deal with some unpleasantness. But it's worth remembering the Storm Sisters still have resurgence, so I don't need to worry about them dying. Archers, on the other hand, are a little squishier, so we'll be careful with them. I'm going to have the Archangels kind of take point on this one and see if I can get them up on those little bits of the wall that stick out from the rest. And uh, hopefully give them a little bit of an advantage and make the enemy freak out when I get on top of their walls. Um... Now we'll hold off on spells for now. You can move a little further, you may as well. Okay, I think that's it for this combat round. I don't like being the one with no magic. They want to get into a ranged fight down here. I'm more than happy to oblige. Go there, because I think the Deathbringer might be able to reach him. Alright, why don't you just go sit right here on the wall? That'll work. See if I can get them distracted a little bit. Um, one of you got messed up kind of good. I think it was you. Yeah, you have stiffened limbs. So I'm going to have to try to dispel that. In the meantime, you can go on the wall there. And you can go on the wall here. Alright, let's see if I can dispel that stiffened limbs. Although I think that requires a Storm Sister of a certain rank, and you're not it. In fact, I don't know if any of the Storm Sisters in this group have a high enough rank to dispel. I think that's Veteran. Oh wait, yeah, she can. Let's try that. Okay. I may 
have dispelled some positive effects too, but... Yeah, that's okay. Better that, I'd rather that than stiffen limbs, so... In fact, what I'll do is I'll move this one up, put her here, and have her heal herself, and have this one go on defense. And we can gather Storm Sisters around, so if the enemies try to swarm, I can blast them with magic. Same idea down here. Try to draw the enemy into going after the, the uh, Archangels and then hit them with all the ranged attacks I can. Since my ranged attacks just ignore walls, which is wonderful. Some setup like this should be alright. And I can also get this Griffin Rider up on the wall, just why not? And as a matter of fact, this guy would be a good one to get up in the fray, too. they killed anything. Why don't you go get in that person's face? And all this group down here needs to deal with this little incident. 10 to 16, I think, I think physical arrows are going to be better here. Kinda need that guy to turn around. Oh, I forgot that that person was there. All right. We're gonna need the Archangels to hop off the wall and help out down here. May as well make use of what I just did though. Got a little bit of time before he comes back. need to heal and kill all that stuff. Let's start off moving from the bottom up, I think. There goes one. her out of harm's way. They may chase her down and kill her, but if they do, that's okay. Nope, just 
gonna shoot a gun at an angel. That angel is quite almost dead. They have resurgence too, but if I can save her, I will. Cadavers down there being little jerks. Okay, somehow I think everyone is still alive. Park myself right on top of that lost soul. She can go out and get rid of that one. Okay. I believe that was a flawless victory. All right. Now, hopefully, that gets her attention. We need to draw her out. Um, I gotta also need to split these angels up because various different groups need healing. So let me kind of do that. Um, I will add like a Storm Sister to this group. Move her there. Uh, we'll leave two angels with this group and I will move another Storm Sister down here. And maybe the healthier angel out there to help them. And then uh, I'm gonna keep moving forward with them. I don't know to where yet, but we just need to keep pushing. This is going to be a long episode, I think, but I feel like I can finish this one. Purge to... Eh, well, we've been, we've been kind of mean to the humans lately, so let's slow them, throw them some slack. Besides, they're close. All right, now, is everyone here ready? Because I'm about to jump up in the middle of everything and go break things. Starting with that city down there. I can now see into there, which I think that army is gonna take on the next turn. So these guys can take Moss Biloth. There's Best Dr Dranlac down there. And then there's this one that I can't see yet, and Zwa. So, I think, yeah. We'll have uh, the full force of these armies all pop up here. She is doing a great job hiding. And it's annoying. <laughs> Maybe that tower will clear things up. Still no sign of her. She has to show up sometime soon. How much movement does everyone have at least four in that stack? Okay, I'm gonna do this. 
That works for me. Alright, and we have to wait on this one, because I don't want to do that without a bunch of magic. Especially not with that Dread Reaper in there. Although, actually, that doesn't matter, because Wild Hunt is up, um, and I have 100% spirit resistance on everything, so Invoke Death won't work if he tries to use it. Pick up whatever bonus that gives. I don't remember. Um... And I think these guys are all good. Yep, that whole army is set where they're at. And I guess, excuse me, we'll just move some units down here to park on that city. And just generally defend it. Okay. Uh, that dwarf firstborn city is rallying to the wrong point. I need to move that forward. They need to rally all the way to the cave entrance here, I think. All right. Turn. So many units. Okay. Then I can move the Storm Sisters down. Um, move this guy forward. And don't know why he didn't just continue. Oh, it's because he hit haste berries, so the AI got a little confused there. Okay. Click to end turn. We are there. Now, um, I'm going to probably watch the above ground for this one. Because I think if she was down here, she would be in her capital. I don't know where else she would be. So I I'm thinking she's got to be in the overworld somewhere. So let's hit end turn. And see if we can spot the necromancer. These cities are all going to go down pretty quick. There's a few units running south could be grouping up with her. Don't know why else they would abandon that city. Aside from the fact that they're very clearly going to lose it, which I guess is a pretty good reason. But I don't think the AI normally thinks that way. Maybe she's down there. Still no sign. I don't see any other purple armies that popped up. All right. Well, I guess, uh, carry on then. Um, let's get some of this stuff taken care of. Got the Grand Palace done. Basically, if it says a Megalith is done, then I can just go to Merch forever. And just constant festivals every turn. I'll just right click through all that. That city is already absorbed, or purged, rather. Any more decline. Race governance level up with humans. I could give their cavalry more XP. Yeah, yeah, I guess. Neither matters. Um. Sure, I'll take a small army. Why not? No, actually, I'll just take the mana. I don't even want to pay for that. There's no point. Either one is a waste. I would rather them just give me gold. Because you can never have too much gold. You know, I'm going to stop making Griffin Riders after those are done. You know what? Sure, you, you just join my empire. I don't need them with vassals, like, because the nice thing about vassals, they have a few troops to defend themselves with, but it really doesn't matter. I'm also not going to fully upgrade this city. 
um, for obvious reasons, I think. It's way too far behind everything else. All right, uh, let's... Man, I wish I had to stabilize Mana Core right now because this would be the perfect battle to use it in. Let's flip back over here. Take another quick look, make sure Marisoth isn't in there. We need to do this fight. You know what? I think I need to probably call this an episode. It's like an hour and a half and I still haven't seen this lady. And this is going to be a fairly large battle. So the next one may be a shorter episode, um, but I am going to call this one here. So I am going to record another one, though. I'm going to try to finish this out this week. Um, we'll do three this week, because if I finish this, the next week I probably won't do anything. Instead, I'll focus on figuring out uh, with some votes from you guys what to do for the next series. Again, I already have some ideas in mind, so I will post those in a community comment after this series is done. Uh, but for now, I'll just stick with this, do one more episode, um, and I, I really think we can wrap this up in one more, so we'll call this here. But thanks for watching, everybody. I appreciate it. Hope you have enjoyed this series, and uh, the next one will hopefully be the final episode, so I hope you're looking forward to that. Thanks for watching, guys. I will see you next time. Special thanks to all my Patreon supporters, including Tier 3 supporters Blitz, Braden, Dawson Horner, Jimbro, Sarah Feingold, and Tarsac. Thanks so much, everybody.